Hi everybody, it's Steph here again and today what I'd like to do is show you this lovely pen from the Yard of Lead Fountain Pen Company. Now as you can see it comes in this black cardboard outer case and if we just pop that to one side and inside what you'll find is this lovely black um, wooden case and it comes with this gorgeous engraved silver latch to the front and if we open that up and there we have it ladies and gentlemen a lovely fountain pen from the Yard of Lead um, company. Now very briefly the Yard of Lead company was founded in the region of 1934 when they first pa patented a new version of a propelling pencil. Now this pro propelling pencil held 12 3 inch um, pieces of lead and that's if you like where the Yard of Lead company, uh, Yard of Lead name came from. Now the Yard of Lead company is still run by the Tufnell family, the present um, gentleman who runs the Yard of Lead company, Mr Tim Tufnell. His father actually goes back as far as 1822 when his father Frank Tufnell actually worked at Samson Morden who well basically they they were the first people to patent the uh, the first ever propelling pencil so the Tufnell family go back as far as 1822 and even to this day now um, the Tufnell family are still involved with the Yard of Lead Company um, and as I say Mr Tim Tufnell um, is, is a gentleman that runs a company um, today but as I said here we have the Yard of Lead fountain pen it comes in this black box it's um, velvet lined and if we actually take the pen out like so and if we lift this little section up here what what you get inside here is um, the yard of lead guarantee and the user guide um, also what they actually provide you with is a lovely yard of lead polishing cloth which is actually two-sided and some little instructions there um, actually with regards to jewellery well the care of the cloth if you like so if we pop them back inside like so so that's what you, what you actually get inside the case there if we just close that and what we have here ladies and gentlemen is a beautiful beautiful pen this is actually the Yard of Lead retro fountain pen Okay, now this particular pen is what they term as the standard version. They, they come in actually two versions. There's a larger version which they actually term as the grand. This particular one is the standard. Now it comes in this um, chased black and what they term as a, a resin composite if you like. And also to the pen all that you see here is sterling silver so um, in this lovely barley chase pattern let's try and show you a little a close-up so you can actually see the lovely pattern to the pen absolutely beautiful ladies and gentlemen in fact this particular pen looks even nicer in real life as it does from any photographs etc when I first saw the pen online well, I thought yes it looks okay once I received the pen what a beautiful, beautiful pen. Absolutely lovely, ladies and gentlemen. The size of this particular pen, from the top of the cap there to the bottom, um, is approximately 140 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's approximately 10.9, 10.9 millimeters in diameter. And the weight of the pen, it's got a lovely, lovely weight to it as well. The weight is approximately 22 grams because, um, well, not only is it made from this composite resin, but again, all the silver here adds to the weight as well. Um, if, we, if we show you to the end of the barrel here, you can see it's got this silver uh, button to the end of the barrel. Now, if we go to the top and show you the cap, you'll see it's got a silver um, band to the bottom of the uh, the cap there. The clip is the very recognisable yard of lead clip and I'm hoping if we bring it close up we can actually 
show it to you in detail. I'm hoping you can actually see that. Okay, let's give you a sideways view. So it's the very recognisable um, yard of lead clip. And if you look to the top there, it's got the two studs. And just in between the studs, every yard of lead pen, um, sorry, every yard of lead pen has its individual, in, well, it's individually numbered. And then to the top there, you can, you can see it's got this little button to the top, which has the Y. Uh, in silver for yard of lead. Um, last but not least, if we bring um, the cap up here, you can see that the um, the band to the top there. I'm just trying to see if we can get you a better view. I think that's a little bit better. Um, you can see that it's got all the hallmarks to the band to the top there. If I actually just turn it slightly, um, I'm hoping you can actually see all the different hallmarks to the band there and the hallmarks that it actually has to the band um, it's got the uh, YOL which obviously stands for the yard of lead it's got the 925 which is the um, the European sort of uh, silver mark if you like it's also got the 925 which is the the sterling silver mark um, it also has the anchor mark which tells us that it's a bit Birmingham assay office it's got the lion which again is telling us that it's actually sterling silver and last but not least on this particular pen um, it's got the letter N which indicates the date of manufacture now if we take the the cap off from the top there and show you the pen and the cap together like so okay absolutely beautiful I'm really really impressed with this particular pen it's beautiful if we put the cap down here you'll see that it's got this smooth silver um, section to the top there and again let's try and bring it a little bit close and if we actually just turn it slowly I'm hoping you can actually read uh, just to the top of the section um, on the band there it's actually got 925 and sterling as well okay um, if we show you the nib absolutely beautiful nib um, this particular nib is a silver colour um, although it's actually a silver colour um, it's actually marked yard or lead 18 carat 750 uh, underneath that it has the letter um, which indicates to us that it's actually a medium nib now if I can actually make it a little bit closer I'm hoping that's nice and clear for you to see if I actually turn it over you'll see that it's got the um, the black feed to the back there that's the yard of lead feed to the back and let's just give it you a sideways view there okay absolutely beautiful and again let's try and show you the nib a little bit closer there all in all ladies and gentlemen a very very nice pen if we unscrew the barrel like so what you'll find inside here ladies and gentlemen it has a standard um, standard converter inside which allows us to um, to fill the pen with ink so while we're talking let's do that for you let's remove the case to one side and at this point let's bring on some ink and what we actually do to fill the pen like all converters um, we simply turn the knob at the end there and as you can see the plunger inside moves up and down now I don't want to fill it to the top so what I'm actually going to do is just dip the the nib into the ink okay if we just give it a little bit of a shake wipe off any excess to the nib and the section okay and what we'll do you can actually see there the ink is actually now in the converter as I say I'm not going actually to fill it full because it's only just to show you a writing a writing sample so we've now screwed on um, the barrel if we move the cap to one side 
um, and let's let's give it a writing sample. So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a yard oh yard of lead fountain pen. Okay, and let's do some of these figure of eights. As it, as it says on the nib, this particular pen writes with a medium line. Um, all in all, ladies and gentlemen, as I say, this particular one is the what they term as a retro model. And I must admit, it's absolutely beautiful writer. Very, very smooth. Okay, so there we have it, six. A very, very smooth writer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very impressed with it, to be quite honest with you. Let's just show you a writing sample there. Okay, so as it says on the nib, it's a medium line, writes absolutely beautifully, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very smooth writer. I'm very, very impressed with the pen. So, let's pop the cap back on. And there you can hear it closes with a lovely satisfying click. Absolutely gorgeous pen ladies and gentlemen. So what we have here is the Yard of Lead Retro Fountain Pen. This particular one is the standard model. As I said it also comes in a larger version which they term as the Grand. Um, not only that, these particular pens um, they come in ballpoints and pencils as well, but all in all, I'm very, very impressed with it, ladies and gentlemen. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. So there we have it, the Yard of Lead Retro Fountain Pen. So don't be shy, um, go and have a look at any other videos that I may have on my channel. But just for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just simply going to say bye-bye for now.